Hey, hey, welcome. My name is Blogic and welcome to uh, another video on uh, this low-key Minecraft gaming YouTube channel. Um, here I am. Now, I did mention in that last video that um, I wanted to show you guys the realm that I'm in, Mysterious and Typical have been creating uh, for, for maybe about a month or two now. So, uh, this will be split up into a part series because there is a lot going on here and typical is an absolute mastermind when it comes to this this uh nonsense he's made all this this vine farm and xp farm and kfc over there and iron farm and self storage and yeah the rag at the moment um these oh and here we go another mob spawner so we'll get on to all that um his house over there rah, rah, we're not going to get too crazy into that now the main thing that we're going to be showing off today is voila Look at that. This is the main piece we're going to be looking at today. This is Blogic's Mountain. Now, I do still need to do a heap more things. Um, you can even see that there's some oak wood there and all that kind of stuff. This is in uh, progress. And I'm also running the Doku um, Minecraft Texture Packs, which I'll link down below. Um, so if you guys want to um, see that, then you can, because I it just... It just really brings out a lot of uh, depth into Minecraft, so I like running it, especially on this server. It just makes everything sort of look a bit nicer, this server, because we've got stuff going on. It's a bit old school theme. Um, I do want to prune those, tr trim those trees down, and this mountain, I've only just sort of working on the staircase, so I've still got things to do there. Um, but nevertheless, let's get started. So the first things first, uh, this is the main staircase to get into my... Um, my little mountain here, the building. Um, you can either run up the stairs here with my water, or you, there's actually a secret cave entrance here, which was linked up to my first initial house. So what we're going to do is go through this little entrance here. And I'm going to take you through to my first house before I saved up enough materials and all that kind of stuff to start off. So uh, this little bridge here is just going off into my other mountain, which I plan on doing some cool things to. So... Stay tuned for that, I guess. But um, here it is. Here's the, the front of my first house. Um, I did have farms and everything. I've raided everything I had purely so that I could move it across to my new one. Um, but yeah, this is the start of my house, guys. So we're going to pop in here. You just open the door like so. Um, this was my bedroom. Yep, grass and everything. It's just a little uh, you know, spare room at the moment. I had storage in here everywhere. Um, absolutely nothing in here now. Um... A little furnace area. Uh, yeah, there was <laughs> there was not much going on. A little lookout area. This was just so I could see what was going on. Again, I had fences everywhere, but I sort of raided the joint, um, to, you know, to help me progress with the next one. Which that's okay. That's fine. You're allowed to do that in Minecraft. Um, yeah. So of course that goes all the way down to the mine that I originally had. Um, and this was coming out to the rest of my property, which is where I had. Um, oh, silly me. I've got a little floor thing here. Uh, this is used to be a flat mountain. Um, now, this is the start of the Great Wall of uh, Blogic. So, now this wraps around the whole way. Um, I have, I'm yet to continue to design on all the walls, just purely because of materials and time and everything. It's been such a big build already. Um, but we're going to venture on through the front, because that's the best way to go through somewhere. So, we're just going to jump in there. Alright, so you get the picture. We run up all the way these stairs. Um, I'm yet to do anything here. I will be carving this all out and making something nice here. Maybe a little, um, like a station so that you've got to come in here first. Uh, the whole theme I'm trying to go here is for like a castle theme. And, you know, it's very high level um, of protection and guard. Um, I was building the walls three thick. So you literally, if, uh, if a creeper or something was to come and blow it up, you'd, you wouldn't penetrate. Um, so, yeah, here's the start of the castle. It is slightly out, if you can see that. I'm not going to really look at it, in case you do. Now, this is where it gets a bit crazy. Now, I've got a heap of torches going here, because it just... Why not? You know what I mean? I've got enough coal for it, but... If you have a look, bang, have a look at that. Is that just crazy, or is that crazy? Um, I'll see if I've... Here we go, a little bit of netherrack. Let's jump up here. Look at that, just goes, woo, all the way down there. 
and I still haven't even finished that yet. So this was all flat mountain, and yes, I carved every little bit of this out. Um, this is all, uh, what do you want to call it? This is all manual, I guess. So no cheats whatsoever, guys. Absolutely no cheats. This is all legit. Everything you see has been created by myself or typical or mysterious and maybe a few other guys that jumped on the server. So first things first is um, up here I've got my farm area. We, I, I'll put a few trees here purely for decoration and I will need to get... Um, whoa, okay, that's new. <laughs> that is definitely new. That is a big tree. I've, I'm getting swarmed by oak trees at the moment. So uh, first things here, yeah, I've got um, my farm. So I've got a little cactus that's growing here. Um... You know, I just keep all materials in here and all the seeds in here. Um, got all the farms set up. Don't know why there's no beetroot there, but I got beetroot, carrot for the pigs. I got my reeves going so that I can, I'm in the progress of saving up for um, an enchanting room. Obviously, this is wheat. This is the easiest one. I got some melons growing here, which I'm very excited about. Can't wait to um, get stuck into those because they're just, I don't know what it is. I just enjoy growing them. Um, here are my, my little horses. Um, now, this guy. He broke off his lead the other week. Um, so, Bluey there, wearing my diamond armor that I've found for him. And uh, here we go. We've got my other two horses, Steve and Patrick. Uh, they're just chilling in there, having a good time. Here's some spare fences and stuff. I had to lock him in because, yeah, he literally broke off his lead and started wandering around. If I lost my diamond armor horse, I would not be happy. Um, so, let's venture through the garden here. We've got my little cook farm, which I'll just pick up all the... Eggy Weggy's here. Thanks very much, ladies and gents. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Chuck that in here. Like so. Ooh, another quartz. Yep, that's right. So, here I'm yet to fill up yet, which I would like to put some alpacas or, you know, some other, other uh, animals in there. We'll figure that out. This area is sort of vacant for uh, that as well. Some pumpkins just there for the meantime, really. Um, piggies. They're in here having a great time. Same with me cows. And same with my sheep. I usually keep about three um, animals per pen. And I will, unfortunately, for those people out there, I will kill one of three and make the others breed. Just so I have not too much lagging out the server, but also so that I can keep efficient, uh, you know, food supply going. I will put a furnace next to each one of these as well. Just so that, you know, if I actually need food, I can just cook it on the spot. Uh, so that was... The farm part of it, this just wraps around as you can see. Now the next part, or the first part of this level is actually my house, Blodgick's Resting Quarters. So press a little doorbell button, go in here. Um, it's tried to be a bit of a quick stop at the moment. So I, I've got uh, wood, um, bamboo, tools, mixed items, mixed wood, dirt, you know, all that stuff. It's just so that I can quickly jump in here, grab anything that I sort of need. Um, yeah, you know, you get the picture. Um, if you come through here, I've got an overflow of storage because I just had that much bloody cobblestone. You wouldn't bloody believe it from digging out all this jazz. Um, the amount of trees that I went through, oh crikey. So, yeah, I've just designed this place and as you can see with the um, Doku texture pack, it just looks absolutely loving in my eyes. Um, I've got my little armor pieces here for decoration because um, I think it looks amazing. Really? Um, why am I missing a torch in here? It's, should have torches there. Anyway, um, yeah, this is sort of my chest just close to home. I, I like putting all the sort of the valuable things that I've got here quickly. Um, furnace, of course, you know what they are. My double bed because I'm a, I'm a king. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is my furnace area. They do, in fact, all ha had a little bit of coal in it and I was, I was actually... Um, smelts some glass in there because I've got to fill this hole out so that just goes down there for no particular reason it's just I, I, I sort of typically was even saying I've sort of uh, bit off a lot more than I can chew there's not really a heap I can do with um, oops, that. there's not much heaps I can do with so much space but basically guys this goes all the way down um, each level becomes something I don't know yet but mainly it'll probably just be a design to be honest I might put some NPC villages in here get them living in here, things like that. Um, if you come all the way down, you eventually go into my cave. It's one big elaborate way to get into my cave. And wahash! Oh, and waha! Oh, bugger off, would ya? What's going on, warm lag? Come on, you want some, bro? Yeah, there you go. Hey, whiz, how much bloody 
How much life do they have? Anyway, so uh, this was teeing into my original mine from my house. Um, so we can keep going down. And as you can see, it just gets a bit bloody crazy. A couple of bats because we're getting down into the depths of the earth. A couple of zombies in the walls, you can hear them. This thing just splits off so much. But um, the main thing is I wanted to get down to diamond level. And uh, this is all burnt out because that lava, I didn't realize you had to go two blocks thick. Um, and the embers were popping out and they set everything on fire. So that's that was great um, I've still got to mine all this out, but you know, I sort of just took a shortcut and dug the stairs instead um, So if you come all the way down here, you slowly get down into my mind my mine was I'm on here I've got to get that uh, down we go down we go here. We are this is sort of the the diamond level for us So I found a vein of uh, diamond here. So we mine that um, and with the boys we set up a little bit of a you know, strip mining here, which we came out with 193 diamonds. So that was just ridiculous. With fortune pick, of course. Um, and we circled back to here, found an abandoned mine shaft and all that jazz. So, uh, yeah, that's that was that. Um, a few more materials down here. Uh, but yeah, basically, guys, that's... I mean, that's the extent of it is so far. I mean, it's a bit of a... That was a 10-minute sort of um, <laughs> run-through. Whereas, um, you know, that took... Hours and hours and hours. I think the the first part of digging this main uh, sort of system out is we'll have a bit of a look up here quickly. Yeah, look at that. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the main part of that took, I think it was nine hours just to dig down to this level. And I still haven't finished digging it out. So each level will tee off until like a ring cut out, as you can see here, how they're sort of slotted. So if we just go up here like, like this. So they'll tee off and do whatever. Um, but yeah, that first slice is basically my, my house type thing. It's a bit of a different house, bit of a weird setup than usual, but that's what we that's what we love. Bang, bang, and watch this. Woo! Love that. Thanks very much for coming. So yeah, um, I've been getting heaps around the, the bow, guys. If, if you get a good enchantment on a bow, these things are just absolutely phenomenal. Um, but yeah, guys, so, I mean, that's part one. I've, you know, I've got so much more to show you. Um, I don't know why it's lagging so much here, but I've got so much more to show you, but I mean, um, we're, <laughs> I'm not going to fit it all in, and this is already going to be a huge video file for, for Minecraft already, and um, for my my recording and all that, so, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed Bio Castle so far, and if you want me to show you more stuff that I do with it, um, oh, so let me just show you one more thing before I forget um, something that took a bit of effort so you can actually walk on this wall the entire way around which is what I, I love about this so um, trying to sprint and we can't go anywhere uh, have a quick few munches give me two seconds so yeah you can walk the entire premises of this castle uh, wall and you can oversee everything we can see what's going on we can watch typical from his house in his bedroom when he's getting changed we can snipe uh, zombies uh, cannot snipe zombies uh, but yeah so I've got a little bit more to do obviously guys I gotta patch that up forgot about that um, but yeah so if you guys want to see more of this see more of the progress you want to see what typical is up to or maybe some tutorials of uh, the stuff that typical gets up to then let me know guys and we'll make it happen. So, other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me take this off. Oop, nearly walked off the wall then. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, and I'll catch you later.